नमस्कार मैं सब डॉक्टर त्रिशा नो आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई एम डी फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ ऑगस्ट सो विल बिगेन आवर डिस्कशन विद द सिग्निफिकेंट रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर द वेरियस स्टेट्स और डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ इंडिया एज यू कैन सी आई एम डी एज प्रिडिक्टेड राइटली एंड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन रियलाइज ओवर द गुजरात स्टेट then uh, rajasthan and madhya maharashtra state and the details of the rainfall from various stations and the district has been given here you can pause the video and check the detail so now if we talk about the synoptic system you can see there is a deep depression over the east of rajasthan and it is very likely to move further to the uh, uh, to the west southwest direction and reach to the shaurashtra and kutch region on 29th of august and, the, and another well marked low pressure area is persisted over the west uh, gangetic west bengal and monsoon trough starting from the jaisalmer passes through this deep depression up to the well marked low pressure area over the gangetic west bengal and the north bay and if you see another western disturbance one western disturbance is also there uh, over uh, 70 degree and uh, 30 degree north uh, and, uh, and if you see another uh, offshore trough is uh, uh, exist from the uh, coast of the gujarat up to the north coast of the kerala so if we move further and talking about the highlights as i already discussed deep depression over the east rajasthan is likely to continue to move slowly way southwestward and will reach to the shaurashtra and kutch and adjoining northeast arabian sea by the 29th of august and the well marked low pressure area over gangetic west bengal likely to move west northwestward across the east india and under the influence of this system very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall likely over south rajasthan gujarat state konkan and goa madhya Rajasthan and coastal Karnataka during two to three days. Now, if we talk about the warning from the next seven days, this is for the warning for the 26th. That is for the 26th of August. That is for today. The a uh, red warning for the extremely heavy rainfall has been issued for the western state specifically west indian state gujarat rajasthan and madhya maharashtra and the neighboring state like west madhya pradesh then uh, konkan goa and uh, the uh, coastal karnataka and south interior karnataka has been issued the orange warning from the very heavy rainfall activity and similarly the orange alert has been issued for the eastern state gangetic west bengal as well as the jharkhand for very heavy rainfall activity talk about the rainfall warning for 27th of august and 28th of august you can see red warning for the extremely heavy rainfall has been issued over the gujarat state uh, and also on 28th the ex, uh, red warning for the extremely heavy rainfall has been issued for uh, 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 shaurashtra and kutch region and if you see the other region like uh, uh, rajasthan as well as madhya maharashtra and konkan goa and coastal karnataka uh, orange alert for the very heavy rainfall activity has been issued on 27th and if you see the east pa eastern part of the india uh, as well as the northeastern state except arunachal pradesh and sikkim the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued similarly yellow warning has been issued for the J jammu and kashmir and uh, punjab region on 27th and also for the karnataka state and kerala state similarly if you see the uh, warning on the 28th of august the red warning for the shaurashtra and kutch for the extremely heavy rainfall has been continued and if you see the warning orange warning for the very heavy rainfall has been issued for the gujarat region madhya maharashtra as well as coastal karnataka and if you see the uh, yellow warning yellow warning has been issued for the uh, northeastern state as well as odisha jharkhand bihar uh, then uh, west of the rajasthan punjab and jammu kashmir and if you see the south peninsula of india yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity has been issued for the karnataka and kerala state and also on 27 uh, heavy rainfall related yellow warning has been issued for the andaman and nikobar island and if we move further and see the warning for the 29th after the 1st of september you can see the red warning still continued on 29th also for the extremely heavy rainfall over the shaurashtra and kutch region and on 30th the red warning has been reduced to the orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity for the shaurashtra kutch apart from that you can see uh, yellow warning has been given for the north indian state kashmir then rajasthan west part of the rajasthan then gujarat region and entire central india and also eastern coast to research at tisgar 
as well as the peninsular India, you can see uh, yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued. Similarly, on 30th also, the central India, the eastern coast and the south peninsular India, uh, yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued. And as I already mentioned, orange warning for the very heavy rainfall has been issued for the shortest crush on 30th. And if you see the 31 and 1st of September, you can see the warning level has been reduced drastically and yellow warning for uh, Rajasthan, then uh, east of uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, then Vidarbha and uh, the also Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh, Kerala. Those for all these states or region, the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued. Similarly, for the 1st of September, you can see uh, over the northeastern state, yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued. And if you see the east of uh, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh and also Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan, Goa, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Kerala and uh, Rajasthan uh, for all this region yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been issued on 1st of September. So now if we move further and talking about the fisherman warning you can see on day 1 and day 2 that is for the 26th and 27th of August the over the Gujarat's coast squally wind speed around 45 to 55 kmph and gusting to 65 kmph has been issued and on day 3 and day 4 that is on 28th and 29th of August the warning level for the squally wind has been increased over the Gujarat coast and it is around 55-65 and gusting to 75 kmph pH and if you see the day 5 on 30th August the warning level has further reduced and given up to the 45 55 and 65 kmph for the Gujarat and Maharashtra coast so the fishermen are advised not to venture over all this area during this period so that's all for today please visit our Mausam website and also follow us in Twitter Facebook Instagram and YouTube thank you for watching